Hello guys, welcome back to another Boomage video. I'll get into the Boomage content in a minute, but I just want to talk to you guys one-on-one -on -one for a second. This video is our 1,000th video on this channel. I was planning to make a humongous montage of all of our mem memorable moments, special moments, but I was, I was when I was watching the videos back, I couldn't stand the cringe. I wish I could just go back and delete all of the videos. If you think Jimmy sounds weird now, just take a look at what he sounded like two and a half years ago when we started. To take this down, take down these headquarters. And I don't know why I'm so laggy. I don't know if you guys see the leg, but I do. He sounds like Kermit the Frog that had a gun pointed to his head and if he showed any enthusiasm, he would be shot. You should have heard me when I first started. I was... Oh. Hello guys, what is up? This is Christian from Extreme Boomers. Today I'm gonna be giving you an over- Anyway guys, I hope you- I'm so glad you're here for this 1000th video. And if I have learned one thing over the course of two and a half years of making pretty much daily Boom Beach content, if I learned one thing, it's don't watch your older videos because you will die from cringe. Anyway guys, let's jump into the video. So I'm on my Confusion account, my Confusion account. Some guy was raging on the way I said Sculptor. Sculptor. Sculp. Like a scalp. I'm not saying, he said I, he said I was saying Sculptor. But I'm saying Sculptor. I, I don't know, I'm probably saying it weird. I say a lot of stuff weird. Um, anyway, let's do this. So I'm on this account because my main account is pushing. And you guys are getting bored of, actually you guys aren't getting bored. I was, oh shoot, I, I don't want to find new opponents. I'm so used to my main account. Okay guys, let's do this. First base of the day. Uh, yeah, most of these bases I should be able to defeat. I'm just going to clear my map uh, doing some of this stuff. Guys, I promise next time on this, next time I'm on this, oh, this guy's some pretty decent. We should still be able to take it out. I promise next time, uh, I'm going to try to promise next time I'm on this account, I will try to use a different troop combination because you guys are getting so bored of warriors and I don't blame you. I'm getting kind of bored of warriors as well. I'm uh, violating some warrior tips. I taught you guys a while back here, and hopefully my my hero gets pushed. Nope, she walked the other way. Dang it, hero! She was supposed to be pushed up the opposite way. Uh, we'll get critters down, shock, shock, and we can't have enough for another shock. This could go poorly. Uh, these are maxed out warriors, not too much damage, and we don't have our hero, so hopefully we can deal and just break break the core. And if we can't, I'll probably just train up something else on my free time. We should be able to get it. Just clutch, clutch it. Okay, we're not starting out a very uh, we're not starting out very well. I lost my entire army and I have to spend 96 diamonds to retrain. Okay, different base. Screw that base. Um, I should have never found a new opponent. That's what I get. So for these types of bases, these are the fun bases. Now I used to do them a different way, but I'm modifying the way I'm doing it now. Shoot, that was a little late. Yep, one or two is going to walk over there, but that should be fine. My goal is to keep them all on that side. So when you do it this way, they're going to just stay at the wall, which is nice. They'll probably wrap around this quarry. No, they didn't. Okay. Uh, shock, shock. I mean, smoke, smoke. Get to the HQ. Let's get a med kit down just to heal. Our hero is going to be dumb and walk out. Oh, <laughs> she walks in between the smokes. It's not a big deal. We'll be still be fine. And there's no, like, splash damage over here, so we're just shocking. Uh, boom cannons and sniper towers. We'll just destroy that core. Did we lose any? I believe we lost one. Yep, we lost one, which is not bad at all. And I believe that one was killed over here. Um, very nice. Very nice indeed. So, uh, we only lost one. So we're not going to retrain. So, yeah, I, I'm having a lot of fun. Oh, this guy's no loot. Uh, but he's a pretty easy base. Having a lot of fun attacking down this low. Um, we're gonna try something here. I haven't done this in forever. Actually, I just did it a couple days ago. Uh, yesterday. But I haven't done it on this account, I believe. Not yet at all. So we're gonna we're gonna have a little fun with this guy's base here. And we're just gonna get them smokes. I love it when they're clumped up like this. You can really get a ooh, that's, that's gonna be risky, guys. We're gonna lose one. No, we didn't. Oh, 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 oh. that's a close one. Okay, we'll get our, our smokes down. We'll get critters. Critters are like the absolute best for bases like these because all the defenses are under the core, so all the defenses are going to be focused on the critters. Easy, very, very easy base. Definitely 
uh, it looks like a hammerman base design, so he forgot to change it back, which happens to me all the time. Or just his normal base design, which is a weird base design. Um, that would be more like an anti-scorcher or an anti-tank base, but you could just, if you had enough energy, you can flank the base with smokes. But anyway, do I want that much gold? I'll just take the shards. I'm trying to get power powder, guys, and we'll build... Oh, come on. Okay, we'll convert, and then we'll build it. And I'm not worrying about the achievement on this account, guys. Screw that. Uh, all I care about is trying to get power powder, so... Nope. Uh, we're not boosted. We can't take down shield bases uh, with... Well, I mean, we probably could have taken down that base if I if I wanted to do, but, you know, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of shield bases. I attack so many on my main account, guys. I honestly don't want to attack any on this account. I'm, I'm telling you, every single base I find on my main account is a shield generator base, and... I get happy when I see like one shield generator because a lot of people nowadays have two shield generators because of this new up boom beach update that allows you to have two and this is going to be risky if any of them walks out. Uh, double smoke. The reason I double smoke like that is so my hero is going to get out of smoke at the same time. Now some people will go about it a different way, um, but... Uh, okay. Do we get that shot down? Nope, we don't have enough energy. Some people go about it a different way. They will try to flare close to the building, um, but not on the building to get the hero so he or she covers the entire range of your warriors. But what I found is, if you just do it the way I did it, she's going to cover like three-fourths of your warriors and you'll be fine. So, this guy has some decent gold. This, oh, that's where it is. I was like, that guy has no loot whatsoever. Okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm triggered, I'm triggered, guys. Okay, uh, we need to defeat him to prove a lesson, give him a lesson on that. Okay, so I remember when I used to attack these bases, we're actually going to do this a very fun way. I can't remember if, oops, did I waste, yeah, I wasted two. Um, I can't remember if this is patched or not, but we're going to try it out and see if it works. Um, when you fly to a hot pot, nobody has hot pots up as high as I am right now, so... Uh, you don't get a lot of them, so we're gonna try it. Um, I don't know the range of the hot pot either, so we're gonna do this, and we can't, because as soon as they walk out, the hot pot goes up, and we're screwed. So we have to make sure, yeah, it's still working, and the hero even clumps up. Um, so you have to make sure that the hot pot does not come up when you do that, and then you can drop your flare. Now, it would have been way better if I dropped the flare behind the HQ, um, not on a building that way they would have stayed in like the perfect little clump ever it would have been so cute and kind of mad that I didn't do that but oh well um, double double set of critters usual hit uh, shock launchers will target the critters and we should beat the base yeah we did but usually you will beat the base by the time your troops can take it out so I mean by the time the shock the shock launchers fire again so that's a nice way of doing it if you know you can't beat the base before uh, shock launchers fire twice so let's see here so a shock launcher fires um, I believe every time you upgrade it yeah you get it no that's shock duration yeah what was I thinking um, damage for a second so five seconds so if you cannot defeat a base within uh, so it shoots once, so within 10 seconds, you have to be under 10 seconds, then you should shock your shock launchers, unless you know your critters are still going to be alive at the end of it. So that's when you want to shock the shock launchers, and even then it's okay if the shock launchers fire or hit or a couple hits off at your warriors. It's not going to do, it's not going to be the end of the world for your warriors. It's still going to, your warriors are still going to live. Um, because half of your warriors, if, if like both of these shock launchers fire at my warriors, I also have like half of my warriors still hitting the HQ, which is way more than enough to take it down. So, um, that's why I've kind of not been shocking, uh, shock launchers anymore. Unless I know, like, on these big shield generator bases, uh, I will still shock them because they are still an issue. Or if the bases not have machine guns around the HQ, but my first priority now is the machine guns. Um... Because machine guns suck against warriors. If if warriors are right on machine guns, that's like the worst you can possibly get. If there's boot, if there's boosted damage and the machine guns are around the HQ, that's that's awful. That's that's seriously the worst you can get. So, uh, so yeah, we didn't have enough. I should have shocked that side instead. Because mortars even do a, a fair bit of damage against your warriors. They can they can take out some serious clumps uh, and just wound your warriors so much. So. 
You need to get your critters down early also if, because if you're if the smokes wear out before your critters are down the shock launchers will target your troops and then you chances are you will lose the battle because <laughs> then your warriors are stunned for three seconds and by that time um, the shocks will be wearing out in like four seconds so you have like four seconds to take down the HQ it's insane how tough it becomes if you miss those critters but I've been getting very good with my critters sometimes I will play some a tad too early but it's not the end of the world. I like just being... I like being able to clear my map in 15 minutes. Um, one of the old guys in our task force, I can't remember his name, but... He was saying something along the lines as, um, before he started pushing, he was... Oh, it was... Was it Oscar? I believe it was Oscar. Uh, he's an easy hopper for Smoke, Inc. Um, or Smoke, one of the angry task force force families um but he was i believe it was him he was saying that before uh, he started pushing or not even pushing but just trying to get intel he used to be able to clear his map in 10 to 15 or it's like 15 to 20 minutes and now uh that he's pushing it takes him a whole 30 hours and i feel the pain you guys don't realize it but i'm clearing like i said in my yesterday's video i'm clearing my i'm clearing my map twice a day so that's a three hour where's my hero okay i'm boosting her Oh, she did, oh, I didn't even drop her. <laughs> oh, get down. Oh, no, I missed the shock. Okay, my 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 uh, my critters were late. We should hopefully still be able to take it down. That's a bad example. But yeah, the shock is only tracking like half my troops. And the other half is, is fine. So, did not even drop my hero. That would have went so much better if I had my hero down on time. Oh, dang it. Okay. Oh, let's. Oh, I can't even drop her on retreat. Um, that's something they should fix in future Boom Beach updates. You you can't drop your hero. Your hero acts as a gumbo ability. Um, because at the end of a battle, if you have your hero left, the battle ends. Even if your hero is still living, the battle just is going to end. It's like critters. No, critters will still live, I believe. Will critters live? I, I can't remember now. <laughs> if your troops are all dead, will critters still live? Well, we're going to test it out here. Uh, I mean, will critters still be able to fire away? So let's actually find a better base than that. We only have a few troops, and this is going to be the end. Um, we, we want to find a super easy base. Not a super easy base, but like a front-loaded base design. So we can drop critters in the back and just not do anything. Okay. Target practice, shocking solution, black shield. We can find something on Dr. T here. So let's hit attack. So yeah, I'll show you what I mean by the hero. So we'll drop our troops over here. We'll get critters down, and as soon as they die, I, I want to see if the battle ends or not. So, if your hero is down, the battle will end. You have a few seconds to drop gumbo abilities. We'll just keep dropping critters up here. I believe critters will still make the battle go longer, but as soon as the critters, yeah, the critters will make the battle go longer. But as soon as we drop our hero, and we can control a hero with, with, uh, with, with uh, flares, sorry, and not for critters. So. As soon as our critters will die here, which are taking forever, let's help them out a little bit. I'm just trying to keep my hero distracted. The battle is going to end in like a couple seconds, I believe. I, I, I don't believe, and if, if I'm wrong, then I am wrong. Yeah, it, well, I guess it is. Um, what you can't do is you can't drop your hero after all of your troops are dead. You can't drop your... I, can you? I can't remember now. This is, this is bugging me, guys. This is bugging me. We're going to test this out quick. So yeah, all of our troops are going to die. It's going to give us a second to drop extra stuff. We'll drop our hero and it allows us to drop it. I thought it ended. That's so weird. I, I'm pretty sure the battle would have ended. I don't know what's what's up with, with that. I, I, I always thought the battle ended afterward, which is so weird. Well, the more you know, guys, the more you know. See, if we, we, if we kill our troop here, the battle ends. And it gives us a few seconds. So I, I don't think you can drop your hero when the when your things are blinking. I believe I dropped her a little too early. So we're going to test it out one more time. It's like turning into a Boom Beach testing video. Okay, guys. The only reason I'm doing this on this account is because I have the gold. We're going to drop him up here instead. So we're going to wait for our abilities to be flashing. And then we are going to drop our hero. So abilities are flashing. Drop a hero. And it lets us. You see, I don't... It was that something they patched? Let me know down below if, if that's something they patched or not. Because I thought in the past you couldn't do that and you couldn't drop your hero. Maybe it's on a retreat is what I'm thinking. You can't drop your hero on a, a retreat, but oh well. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you learned something at the end. I definitely did. The more you know, guys, learn something new every day. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.